everybody, I'm Payson. And I'm Brianna. We are so excited to welcome you to our very first Friend to Friend, an event just for kids. Yep, we're gonna have fun by singing together, visiting other parts of the world, and doing some fun activities. We'll even be playing with rocks. We will also hear messages from Elder Ulysses Suarez of the Quorum of the Twelve Apostles, the Primary General Presidency, and the Prophet, President Russell M. Nelson. The two of us are going to be kind of like your guides. To start, our friend Grant is going to give us our opening prayer. Dear Heavenly Father, we're grateful for this day. Please welcome the Spirit today and please bless that people that are watching will feel the Spirit and that what we hear will know is true and that we can have a great time and learn a lot through the activities we'll be doing. And in the name of Jesus Christ, amen. Thanks, Grants. All right, music is a great way to learn about the gospel of Jesus Christ. And we love singing time. We're gonna have an opening song and we want you to sing along with us. It's I'm a Child of God. As you watch and sing with us, how many different children do you see? I am a child of children did you see, Payson? I lost count at 27, but I can always watch it again. That song has such an important message. Since we are children of God, we are never alone, even when we sometimes feel like we are. Heavenly Father loves us and always watches over us. Yep, and we can turn to God in the good times and the hard ones by praying to Him. Let's read a scripture about prayer. Great! If you want, pause the video and get your own scriptures out and read along. It's in Doctrine and Covenants, section 19, verse 38. Here it is. Pray always, and I will pour out my spirit upon you, and great shall be your blessing. Yea, even more than if ye should obtain treasures of earth. I love that. I'm so glad that I can pray every day, and the Holy Ghost can be with me. Jesus prayed to Heavenly Father, too. Let's watch a video about that. Before the earth was made, we all lived in heaven with our heavenly parents and our older brother, Jesus. We were happy and we loved each other very much. 
One day, Heavenly Father told us He would make an earth for us to live on. He knew we would sometimes not keep His commandments while we were on earth. We would need a Savior to help us return home to Him. Heavenly Father chose Jesus to be our Savior. When Jesus came to earth, He showed us the right way to live. He helped people. He taught them to love one another. He taught that we should talk to Heavenly Father through prayer. We can thank God for what we have. We can ask Him for what we need. We can pray to forgive others. We can ask God to forgive us. We can pray to make good choices. I can be like Jesus. I can pray to Heavenly Father every day. All right, it's time for our first activity. We are going to learn more about prayer by drawing together. For this activity, you'll need a piece of paper and something to draw with. If you can, go get some paper. And we're going to go to the craft room. Come with us. Okay, everybody, here it is. Isn't it cool? Okay, are you ready to draw? Now we're going to get a little help from Hadley and her dad, Rob. Hi, Brianna. Hi, Payson. Welcome to our Friend to Friend event. We're so glad you're here. Take it away. We're so glad to be here too, and we hope you're excited and you're gonna follow along with us. You got your drawing supplies? Yes. We're gonna use markers, but you can use whatever you have at home. You also need some? Paper and something to color with. All right, ready to start? Yes. We're gonna draw a child praying, and we're gonna keep it nice and simple, and we're gonna use shapes. Let's first draw a circle for our child's head. We're gonna start up here towards the top of our paper, and we're gonna draw a big circle. That's really big. Yeah, is that, that's not too big, is it? <laughs> <laughs> Good job, keep going. You did it. Now we're gonna draw the body, and we're gonna draw two lines that come down from the circle. We're gonna draw one like this, and one coming down over here. There you go. And then we're gonna connect the bottom to, of those two lines. Next, we can draw the bottom of the shirt, and we can draw a little diagonal line towards the bottom of this shape. And then let's draw their feet sticking out behind them. We'll draw a little curve that comes out and then back in. Then let's draw another curve for the other foot. Because they're kneeling. Yeah, they're kneeling. Okay, now let's draw their hands, and we'll draw them coming up like this, around, and then back down. And then we can also draw the end of their sleeve. And let's also draw another curve like we did for the foot, but let's do this for their arms or hands. And then we can also draw a little line for the sleeve. Good job. All right, now we need to draw their face. Mm -hmm. Let's draw a little nose right here. Draw a little curve. Cute nose. Now let's draw their eyes, and we're gonna draw a little curve like this because their eyes are closed. Yeah, you could also add eyelashes. Do you wanna draw a girl version? Yes. I'll draw a boy version. That looks really cute. Thank you. <laughs> now we can draw that little smile because I always feel good when I say a prayer. <laughs> Me too. And we could also draw a cheek line. I will draw their ear. We're gonna draw a curve that kind of looks like a circle, but then doesn't connect. Let's also draw a small little curve on the inside of their ear. Perfect. <laughs> okay, now we can draw their hair, and this is a fun part too, because you can change it any way you want. You can add curly crazy hair, hair, crazy hair, yeah. Maybe you're just waking up in the morning mm -hmm. and your hair is kind of crazy. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> You could also draw straight hair, you could draw curly hair. I, I'm gonna draw, draw long hair. Oh yeah, you could draw long hair or short hair. I'm gonna draw uh, little curves like this. I'm gonna draw curly hair. Do you wanna draw 
and maybe straight hair on yours, just so it looks different. There you go. And then we could draw more curves down here, behind the ear, and connecting to the back of their head. Oh, that's perfect. <laughs> okay, now I'm going to draw, my curve went outside of the circle. I'm going to draw a little spiky hair on the front. Do you want to add some extra details to your hair? Yes, I'm going to draw a ponytail. Oh, perfect. <laughs> or a bun. Oh, a bun. Yeah, that would be cool. Oh, I love it. Oh, that's really <laughs> cute. You could also add, why don't you add a little cute flower in her hair too? Oh, yeah. A <laughs> big flower. <laughs> I like it. And you can add even more details to your drawing, like a background. What could they draw on their background? Maybe their bed. Oh, yeah. If you're praying in your room, mm -hmm. maybe in the morning or at nighttime, there could be a window and you could draw a sun. Or, or a moon. Or a moon, if you're praying at night. Yeah. I love that our two drawings look a little different. Yeah, they don't have to look exactly the same. No, they don't. We should take a minute and check on Brianna and Payson. Yeah, how are your drawings turning out? Here's mine. And here's mine. This is so fun. Wow, your drawings are turning out amazing. You did a really good job. You really did. Okay, let's keep going on our drawings. The next step is... To color it! Yes. <laughs> <laughs> We're using markers to color our drawings, but you can use whatever you have at home. Like crayons, you could even paint your drawings. Or colored pencils. Oh, colored pencils. That would work great. Now, you could also color your drawings any way you want. I'm going to do a dark brown for the hair. And what color are you going to use for your hair? A yellow. A yellow. Ooh, for the blonde. That, that would be really cool. Hadley, give me five. You did such a great job on your cute little girl praying. I like yours too. Oh, thanks. We sped that part up really fast, but remember you can take extra time to finish coloring your drawings. You can also add a cool background. We hope you had a lot of fun drawing your child praying. We do. We hope you had a lot of fun, and I'm sure your drawings turned out perfect. And we'll see you later. Goodbye. Well, that was fun. Thanks for helping us learn to draw, Robin Hadley. I'm going to put this by my bed to remind me to pray every single day. Now let's meet a friend who had an experience with praying for help. He lives in Tahiti. Come on, let's go. All right, now let's find Tahiti. There it is, right in the middle of the Pacific Ocean. I bet it's pretty warm there. I'm not sure we're dressed right. Costume change, Payson. <laughs> hmm, something's missing. Oh yeah. That's better. Now we're ready. Hi, Rahi. Bonjour, bienvenue à Tahiti. It's so great to see you. Your island looks beautiful. Would it be okay if we shared your story? Oui, bien sûr. Allez-y. Here we go. Rahi loves visiting his grandmother, Mammy. While there, he plays on the beach and catches fish in the lagoon. He eats mangoes and bananas from the trees. A few years ago, he met Mammy's friends, Callie and Mia. Every morning, Rahi and Mammy would read the Book of Mormon together. Callie and Mia started joining them. Rai helped explain the scriptures so that they were easy to understand. Kali was impressed with Rai's knowledge of the scriptures. Rahi liked helping Kali catch fish. One day, Rahi said, let's pray so that we can be safe and that we can catch lots and lots of fish. That day, Kali caught more fish than ever before. Kali decided to always pray before he goes fishing. Ra'i was getting ready to be baptized. He told Callie about it. Then the missionaries came and taught Callie and Mia more about the gospel. When Callie and Mia were baptized, Ra'i was there. He was so happy that Callie and Mia wanted to follow in Jesus' footsteps. Last December, Callie and Mia were sealed in the Tahiti temple, and Ra'i came along to celebrate with them. 
Ra'i's example shows all of us what we can do to build friendships and help others come to know the Savior. Ra'i, that was a great experience. Yes, it was. Next time, I think we should fly to Tahiti to hang out with you on your beach in person. Would that be okay? Oui, venez. À bientôt. Bye. Bye. I think it's pretty cool that Ra'i prayed for help about fishing. And I love how he helped his friends learn about Jesus. You know, we can do that too. We can pray when we need help and we can tell our friends about Jesus. Who can you tell about Jesus? Write their name down and ask Heavenly Father for help. The Friend Magazine has more about Ra'i's story. It also has a place where you can write down the name of someone you want to tell about Jesus. Check it out. Well, that was fun, but I think we better head back. Costume change! All right, are you ready for our next song? Let's sing, I Will Walk With Jesus. You can sing along. Jesus walked in wisdom. Jesus grew in truth. He showed love to God and man well in his youth. Jesus wants to guide me. Jesus shows the Sophia, and thanks, Nora, for playing the piano. I love the message in that song. One way to walk with Jesus is by making promises with Heavenly Father, like the ones we make when we're baptized. Some of you have been baptized already, and some of you will be soon. I'm getting baptized this year. I am so excited. Now let's learn about when the Savior was baptized. John the Baptist was a great prophet. He taught people to repent and baptize them. One day, John was baptizing people in the Jordan River. Jesus came and asked John to baptize him. John knew that Jesus didn't have any sins, 
So why did Jesus want to be baptized? Jesus said he needed to obey all of the commandments. Being baptized is a commandment. After John baptized Jesus, a dove came to show that the Holy Ghost was there. Heavenly Father's voice came from heaven, saying, This is my beloved Son, in whom I am well pleased. We can obey the commandments and choose to be baptized, like Jesus. Then we can be confirmed and have the gift of the Holy Ghost, too. The Holy Ghost can always be with me. He can guide me, comfort me, and help me follow Jesus every day. Okay, I'm excited about this next part. Our field reporters, Thomas and Abby, are going to visit with a very special guest. Take it away, guys. Thanks, guys. We're at church headquarters. We're going to visit Elder Ulysses Suarez at the Quorum of the Twelve Apostles. We're going to ask him about the promises we make when we're baptized. All right, Abby. Let's go. OK. Hello, Abby and Thomas. Come on in. Please, have a seat in my office. OK. Thank you for coming. It's so good to see you. And thank you for wearing your masks. So since we are a little away from each other, I think we can remove our masks now so we can hear each other better. Mm -hmm. How's that? Good. Excellent. So now tell me, what brings you here in my office today? As you know, we are having a little broadcast for the children of the church, and we want to ask you a question. That's wonderful. Go ahead. We've been talking about baptism. We know that when we're baptized, we make promises of covenants with God. Some of us have already made those covenants, and some of us will soon. What advice do you have for us about keeping these promises? Well, I would love to answer that question with a story from when I was 11 years old. In fact, I have a, a little friend here who can help me to tell that story. Hey, young Ulysses, are you there? Hello, Elder Suarez. Children, this is me when I was 11 years old. Ulysses, say hello to my dear new friends, Thomas and Abby. Hi, guys. Hi, hey, Ulysses. Hey, Ulysses, will you help me to tell a story? Is it the one about the money again? Yeah, that's the one. Go ahead. When I, like you, was in primary, my kind bishop invited me to talk to him in his office. He talked to me about keeping the promises I made to Heavenly Father when I had been baptized a couple of years before. He also talked to me about the importance of keeping the commandments and always being honest with God and with other people. Then he looked in my eyes and said, Ulysses, if you do the things we just have talked about, you'll be blessed in your life and you'll be better prepared to serve a mission someday. I was surprised because I was only 11 years old. But from then on, I always remembered my bishop's words. One day I faced a challenge. My mother gave me money and asked me to go to a store close to my house to buy some fruit. On my way home from the store, I looked at the money in my hand. I saw that I had more money than I had started with. The old lady behind the counter had made a mistake and had given me too much money back. As I was curiously counting the money, Satan tried to convince me that I could keep the money for myself. I thought, I can give the correct change back to my mother, then I can keep the extra money to spend however I want. But then I remembered what my bishop taught me. I knew that to keep my baptismal covenants, I need to be honest. When I had this thought, I felt the Holy Ghost. So I walked back to the store and returned the money to the old lady behind the counter. As I walked home that day, I felt good in my heart. I knew I was obeying Heavenly Father's commandments, choosing the right during this moment 
gave me the strength to make many, many other correct choices and keep my promises to my Heavenly Father. All right, Thomas and Abby, and boys and girls around the world, and that includes you, Ulysses, please always remember the covenants you make when you are baptized. You promise to keep the commandments, remember Jesus Christ, and take Jesus' name upon you, and you have the Holy Ghost to help you. Prepare yourself to have a good life. Heavenly Father will give you all the blessings you need. Well, does that answer your question, Abby and Thomas? Yes, it does. Thank you. That was so wonderful. Oh, that's great. Thank you for coming. Well, ciao, Ulysses, and goodbye to you. Thank you very much. So I'll accompany you at the door. Come on. Pretty cool, right? Yeah, it's awesome getting to know your swords and your Ulysses, too. You're right. Now back to you, Pace member Anna. Thanks, Abby and Thomas. I really want to keep my promises to God like Elder Suarez did. Me too. Another way we can keep our promises to God is by serving others. That's right. Let's watch a video about how Jesus serves people when he was on the earth. One day, Jesus climbed on a ship. He asked the fishermen to launch it into the water. He stood on the ship and taught crowds of people on the shore. Then Jesus told a fisherman named Peter to let his nets down in the water. Peter said he hadn't caught any fish all day, but he would try again. This time, Peter caught enough fish to fill two boats. Jesus asked the fishermen to leave their boats and follow him. He wanted them to be his disciples. Jesus' disciples listened as he taught about Heavenly Father. They watched Jesus heal the sick and show love to others. After Jesus died, the disciples did what they had seen Jesus do. They taught, healed, and loved. I can teach others about Jesus by what I say and do. I can heal people's hurt feelings with kindness. I can take care of people who are sick or poor. I will show love like Jesus. I always feel good when I serve like Jesus did. Me too. We're going to start our next activity, which has a lot to do with what we've been talking about. During this activity, think about ways you can serve others. Our friend Patty is going to help us. I think you're going to really like her. Let's go back to the craft room. Hi, Patty! Hi, Patty! Hi, Payson and Brianna. We hear you have a fun activity for us. We get to tell stories with rocks. That sounds fun. I find rocks that tell the stories of Jesus. There are a lot of rocks that he made, enough for everyone. You know the story of Christmas when Jesus was born. Do you remember the story when Jesus rode a donkey into Jerusalem? The people celebrated him as their savior and king. Once he prayed in a garden, taking upon himself all our pain and sorrows so we can let them go. He willingly gave his life on the cross to rescue us and bring us home. And then Jesus came back to life. We will all live again because of him. Jesus loves children. Can you imagine what it would be like to give him a hug? That That's is really, really cool. cool. Patty. <laughs> Thank you. Now let's make some rock art together. Are you ready? Yeah. Mm -hmm. It's so easy to make just about any picture with only two rock art shapes, long rocks and circle rocks. Let's make a person. So we can use a long rock to be the body and a circle rock to be the head. My favorite is to use curved rocks because it shows emotion. Hmm. Let's tell the Bible story of a dad who ran to find Jesus to heal his very sick little girl. By the time they got to her home, she had died, but the Savior was still able to bring her back to life. So let's make a picture of that. Find the longest rock for the girl's bed. And then we'll find a tall rock to be the girl and lay her down in the bed and a circle rock for her head. And you might even add a pillow. And there she is. Now we need Jesus. So we will find a tall rock to be our savior. 
You could even use a curved rock if you wanted to. And a circle for his head. And then maybe some legs. So you can have him standing up. Or we'll have him kneel in this case. And now let's give him an arm to reach out to the little girl. And here's my favorite part where he says, little girl, arise. And she does. She comes back to life. <laughs> so how did you do? Brianna, will you show us your picture? This is Jesus and this is the little girl being killed. Oh, that's fantastic. It's neat, isn't it? <laughs> Payson, will you show us yours? Yeah, so this is Jesus, and uh, his hand is out because he's trying to heal her. Uh, and then uh, she, um, her head goes off her pillow, and she is healed. Your rock art looks great. You know, it would make a special present for someone you love. Every time you go outside, look for long rocks and circle rocks to add to your collection. Invite your whole family to look for rocks with you, and soon, you'll have enough rocks to tell a lot of stories. Remember, even the rocks can testify of Jesus if we help them. Wow, that was great, Patty. Thank you. You're welcome. You know, you can do this too. Just find some rocks and make your own picture. Here are some that other kids have made. Those are really cool. I can't wait to make my own. Well, it's time for our next guest. It's Sister Joy Dean Jones, the primary general president. Do you think she's here yet? Let's hurry. Bye, Bye Patty. Patty. Bye, guys. Hi, Sister Jones. You really came. Hi, Brianna and Payson. You are doing an amazing job as our hosts. Thank you, Sister Jones. We've been talking about following Jesus Christ and serving others. Do you have anything you'd like to say about that? Yes, thank you, Payson. Boys and girls, I am so happy to be here. First of all, I want you all to know how much your Heavenly Father loves you. You are so very special to Him, and each of you has the power to make a difference. Since we are talking about service, I hope you are aware of the Helping Hands invitation introduced in the January Friend magazine. Children, you can be helping hands all around the world. Watch for the Friend magazine throughout this year for more ideas to help others as Jesus did. I just want to give a few examples of girls and boys who have been serving around the world. First, I want to mention Shiloh from the Philippines. He reaches out to new friends to help everyone feel included. In American Samoa, Etta and her sister Talai share food with others. Sophie in Norway helped clean up the beaches near her grandma's house. Nathan from the Republic of the Congo helps his younger siblings learn how to read. In Uruguay, Magali helps her mom and dad with chores on the farm. Eleanor from the United States helped her neighbors after a hurricane. Porter and Connor in Poland helped take pictures of graves to help others with their family history. Victoria in the United Arab Emirates shared a video of herself and her sister singing, I am a child of God, to cheer up her teachers and classmates during the pandemic. And this is Stella from Ghana. She is only 11 years old but she decided to start visiting her elderly neighbor and helping her around the house. Each of the children we've talked about are serving like the Savior did. And I know you can too. I invite you to notice someone who needs help. Then say a prayer and make a plan to serve them. Heavenly Father will help you along the way. Thank you again, Brianna and Payson. Thanks, Sister Jones. Thank you, Sister Jones. Bye. Bye. See you later. <laughs> now, boys and girls, please remember how much we love you and how much Heavenly Father loves you. We can't wait to see you all again soon in primary. And you know what? 
I've seen the magic of this room. I think I'll try it out. I'd like to go to Tahiti. I loved those stories from around the world. You know, you can learn more about Stella in the Friend magazine. Sister Jones's invitation is there too. I am going to start on it right away. Well, our broadcast is coming to an end. It's really sad because it went by so fast. But it's been really fun to be with you guys. But before we go, we have one last message from a very special guest. Can you guess who? I bet you can. It's President Russell M. Nelson. After we listen to him, we will have a closing song. Actually, two songs. I'm Trying to Be Like Jesus and We'll Bring the World His Truth. This song is going to be fun because it is in English, Spanish, and Portuguese. You can sing along in all three languages and learn something new. Then we will have a closing prayer by Scarlett. All right, time to watch President Nelson. My dear young friends, I love you. When I see you, I think about my great-grandchildren. Did you know that in my family, we have more than 100 great-grandchildren under the age of 12? They are bright and very precious, just like you are. I hope you have had a wonderful time during this special event. It was prepared just for you. The music, the stories, videos, and activities were all excellent. We have learned some important things today, haven't we? We have been reminded that each of us is a beloved child of God. Please remember that fact. If you never forget that one pure truth, you can face any problem with faith and courage. I also love what was said about Jesus Christ today. I know that the way to find true joy in life is to walk always on His covenant path. Some of you have already been baptized and confirmed. This means that you have made a promise that you will follow the Lord and He will send His Spirit to guide you. Just think of the light and love you can bring into the world as faithful followers of Jesus Christ. Now, you might think that because you are young, you cannot do great things. Maybe you think that Heavenly Father's work is only for adults. But I want you to know that Heavenly Father sees things differently than we do. His ways are very different from ours. He has said, by small and simple things are great things brought to pass. The Lord can use you, yes, each of you, to do His amazing and important work. So what are some of the small and simple things you can do to make a big difference in the world? You can help someone in need. You can learn the teachings of Jesus Christ and abide by them. You can share what you know about the Savior. You can keep His commandments and prepare now to go to the temple and be baptized for your ancestors. When you do any of these things, you are helping Heavenly Father to gather His children back to Him. My beloved young friends, I am so very proud of each one of you. I know that Heavenly Father is watching over you. He loves you very much, and so do I. Of this I testify in the sacred name of Jesus Christ. Amen.
Dear Heavenly Father, we thank Thee for this day. We thank Thee that we could have this broadcast for the primary children. And we thank Thee for the spirit that we've had. And please bless so we can have the spirit through our lives. And we can be strong and righteous as we follow the Savior and as we follow our prophet. And I say these things in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. about this next I'm part. I'm so excited. I got it. Tell us when to film. Wait a minute. This is not Tahiti.